Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up on Roku or in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Well, the weigh-in just took place. It was a shocker to these two eyes, right? First, let me just say, I did not expect Floyd Mayweather to actually be taller than Saul Alvarez. I mean... Alvarez has never looked smaller in his life, right? Mayweather is actually taller than Saul Alvarez. I thought Alvarez was something like 5'9", 5'10". Turns out Alvarez is 5'7 and a half, right? He's going to be physically the heavier guy, but he's not the bigger guy. He won't be punching down on Floyd Mayweather. Also, that has big implications too because we were all wondering how he would do at middleweight against other world class competition, possibly Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. But understand, Chavez Jr. is much taller than Saul Alvarez. When you watch a tape of the weigh in, take a look at the height. The other thing that stood out to me, just how dehydrated, and I do mean dehydrated, Saul Alvarez was. Look at his neck, folks. It's so thin, it's scary. I'm not sure if I've seen a fighter look this water deprived since Ricky Hatton showed up for the Manny Pacquiao weigh in. Right, let me point out too. In the press, they're going to talk about his line where he says, I was born ready. What I want you to do though is to keep the tape running. What does he do immediately after that? As he walks away, he has a bottle of Gatorade and he immediately starts drinking from the bottle. I'm expecting Saul Alvarez to gain at least 15 pounds by fight night. He can't maintain the physique that he had at the weigh-in. He looked malnourished. Also, with the help of an interpreter, they asked him about what he had to do to make weight. Alvarez says, hey, look, you know, uh, it wasn't that big a deal, basically. But then he concedes that he only made weight within the last 24 hours. Right? Either yesterday or today. So, that 152, that was a big concession by his side. Right? Understand, Floyd Mayweather came in where Mayweather usually comes in, at 150 and a half. Floyd looked to be in great shape, looked to be in great spirits. Canelo, to me, seems to be caught up in the moment. As an observer just looking at this, I was a bit surprised. Understand too, Mayweather has the longer reach. Mayweather knows how to use reach, right? Alvarez, let's just say Alvarez height-wise is going to be there to get hit. In other words, Alvarez won't be able to lean much because these guys are the same height. In fact, Mayweather is a little bit bigger. Now contrast that with Floyd against guys like Robert Guerrero, who, in my opinion, was a tougher matchup for Floyd. Right? Guerrero had a length dynamic that Saul Alvarez is not going to have. Also, Oscar De La Hoya was talking about how the secret to beat Floyd was using a jab. Just understand, De La Hoya, taller man than Floyd, might have been able to do things in the ring against Mayweather, who's 5'8 and a half, that the shorter Saul Alvarez might not be able to do. Let's keep an eye on this. If you haven't seen the video, it's a bit shocking. Let me also point out, too, that another guy who seemed to have a problem making weight was Danny Garcia. Right? Danny Garcia couldn't have reached for that bottle of water faster than he did. Also, you would think that they have digital scales that they use these days 
Somehow, Danny Garcia, while standing on the scale, lost half a pound. Right now, all I'm saying is, in a sport where champions can get stripped for failing to make weight, I'm a bit surprised that any fighter would be able to lose half a pound while still standing on the scales without removing any clothing. Very strange weigh-in. Let me hear from you. Enjoy the fight tomorrow. Thanks for watching.